fucking bahay. No? It's actually something that I, we recently learned about was curbside appeal. So that's literally when you're w driving down the road or even walking, what have you, and you notice a house and it makes you want to go in because it just looks so enticing and so nice and so welcoming, so appealing. That is curbside appeal. Not to mention they also made an effort to make your driveway and the pathway leading to the main entrance a nice one. Yeah, definitely has got curbside appeal. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's begin. <laughs> Today we'll be doing a house tour of this beautiful house behind me and this is in Loyola Grand Villas, Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Precello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Precello open house tour. As I mentioned earlier, it is gonna be a beautiful house. Fasad palang. You can already tell. So to your left, we have here your automated gate for your six-vehicle carport, which you'll see better in a, in a bit. But for now, let's go through the pedestrian entrance. So I love how instead of just having a flat wall here with your gate, right? You have a bit of drama, a bit of an angle here, so that you can have your guests stand here, ring the doorbell, and then wait in this nice little area before opening the gate. And as you enter, you have this curve leading to your huge main entrance, which also enables you to not ignore your koi pond. And again, that beautiful layered facade. And when I say layered, literally levels and texture. So before we go to the main entrance, we have here your six vehicle car port, which can fit six cars large or full-sized SUVs, mind you, comfortably. So right now we have a sampling of two full-size SUVs and a, and a two-door, a coupe, coupe, coupe. I'm not sure how you pronounce it actually. Comment down below. <laughs> so you have a very good idea of how many cars you can fit in here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I forgot to show you. You also have a door over there to the side, which will lead you to your living area. And of course, again, you'll see it later on. For now, let's go through your main door. So your main door is a nice solid wood in this beautiful, rich color, which kind of match with your ceiling. So overall, it has this very like, striking appearance. Okay, so let's go in. And as you enter, you are then greeted by all of this space, 
both vertical and horizontal space. So the first thing that will definitely grab your eye is your main stairs, which swoop so elegantly up to the second floor. I think it's because of your bare cement finish, seemingly raw finish, but of course this is finished in a very, very polished way. It is, it is rough cement, but again, smoothened out in a way. So it creates this visual like interest. It has this nice contrast against the white walls and everything else that is relatively smoother, like your paint and your flooring, which are huge homogenous tiles in 60 by 120s. All right, so under your main stairs, we have this hallway, right? So obviously all of this will lead to certain rooms, but before we explore this side, Let's go to this side first. So this is your living area. You already have your built-in shelves over here. And then you have this much space. And then this is a door that leads back out into your six vehicle carport. So actually it's very convenient because when you go out here, you have an awning up there. <laughs> so when you go out, you don't, and even if it's raining, you don't get wet going to your car. Okay. So from your living area, you have these sliding tempered glass panels that lead to your enclosed dining area and kitchen. When I say enclosed, it's because you can close the glass panels from the living area and from the hallway as well as, of course, from the courtyard, which we'll go to in a bit. So you have here your dining area, right? And you can fit a huge dining table clearly. So this is also included. And can I just say, this wood is just... Right, so actually, this, was, this entire house was supposed to be built personally for the owners themselves. However, they decided not to for different reasons, but they already bought their appliances and tables, etc. So the things that you will see in this house tour are all included, including your AC units, again, your appliances, and some artwork. Okay, so from your dining area, you can clearly see your kitchen. So I love how open this entire space is. It's just enclosed. Talagang dito kayo kakain, whether it's at the dining table or in your island or at your island, on your island counter. <laughs> Sorry, my prepositions are all over the place. And then you have a U-shaped counter here behind with, of course, your built-in range and stove, your sink, and your provision for your refrigerator, which is currently being used to store more appliances. <laughs> You've got beautiful cabinetry. You have a matte black. It's like penny black. So it's not black black, but it's like this velvety kind of dark, 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 dark gray. <laughs> so that's what you have for your overhead cupboards. And then a nice medium toned wood for your cupboards down here below. Down below. <laughs> oh, right. Thank you point for pointing that out. And your backsplash is this just gorgeous, cool gray. Right. So you can actually you can write on this if you wanted to, although it is a little dark. Pero kita pa rin naman yung black markers yan. or white. Oh man, white markers would look bomb on this one. Then you can just easily erase them because it is glass. Okay, so next to your kitchen, you have access to the staff area. I love how the doors just lock. All right, so this is your maintenance room. It, this is where your panels are. And then your dirty kitchen. So you have an L-shaped counter over here. You have a lot, a lot of um, outlets all over the place. So it's up to you where you want to put your stove. If you wanted to put a stove, it's an if. And other appliances like maybe your washing machine. Maybe, maybe. Or dryer, pala, sorry. And then here we have your staff, uh, toilet and bath. And then right next to that, we have the staff quarters itself through your staff room so please don't there is a huge window but currently being blocked by stacks of boxes which are gonna go don't worry that's just temporary <laughs> but yeah you have a lot of space high seating fine 
So the materials there are the same with the rest of the house, so it's of good quality. Okay, so we're not gonna go outside outside because there are dogs. I don't really want to disturb them. Hello! But let's see. Let's see if we can peek. Okay, currently being used as storage of some sort. Why am I whispering? Because I don't want to bother you. Oh my gosh! Alright, so <laughs> you've got this side access. You have a side gate there from the six vehicle carport. And all of this is just your service area. So that's where your washing machine will go, etc. <laughs> it's a fuzzy chihuahua. <laughs> I mean, don't quote me on that. They're not actually called fuzzy chihuahuas. Long-haired chihuahuas. All right, so anyways. So back in the kitchen and the dining area, we can now go to your swimming pool or your backyard. So here you have a lot of space and you can tell there's a lot of glass, right? So all of that glass can open up to the hallway to bring the inside out and the outside in, vice versa. You have a gorgeous view of the pool. The pool currently, obviously, is not filled, <laughs> but that's okay. You at least get to see how deep it is. And then here on the left side, we have a nook for your shower. It also has a niche, actually, for your products. And then right next to that, because we missed it, <laughs> It's a locked door. Finally, after how many house tours, we have another locked door. But this is the toilet. That's the water closet. Let's just backtrack a little bit for John. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, and then the rest here. All right, so this is obviously my tenants. The rest here is a garden. So currently unfinished. But just imagine when you are actually able to landscape this baby. It's going to look up. Amazing. And also we can't go in the very back because there are big dogs. Big, big dogs. But yeah, look at that. So many layers. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. And also very functional. I love the shape of this house. It's very, the layout is very practical. Okay, so going back in, kitchen, right? Kitchen and dining area. Let's go out the hallway. Let's go from there and then back. So this hallway, especially when the light is streaming through the glass, oh, beautiful. So you have these accent wooden slats as well. So these are not storage, but they are there to make the hallway very, very interesting without cluttering it up. Okay, so at the end, we have bedroom number one. So this particular room has a view of your backyard. So again, if you had that fully landscaped, wow, what a view from this room, right? And you can also see a portion of the swimming pool. You have a lot of space. You have outlets all over, like literally all over. <laughs> oh, and you can, you can also tell, yes, there are dogs. <laughs> But there's also a side gate there at the back. So obviously that area, this entire area is... Well, it's where you would keep your dogs, I, I suppose. <laughs> it's a perfect place to keep your kennels. Of course, you, ideally you want your dogs to run free, but if you had to keep kennels, that's where you would put them. Just like that, because we're filming a house tour. All right, so again, more panels. And then your ensuite, toilet and bath. We have your sink with some storage underneath, your water closet, and then your enclosed shower space. And take note, we have still some very high ceiling. And then some cold lighting there on the side. Now this is, it's quite thick, as you can see. So this is, I believe, a medicine cabinet. So all of these you can open up again. Just if you were entertaining lots of people, just have these open. They can sit on the ledge of the swimming pool and just chill out. What a fun time. <laughs> okay, here we have bedroom number two. So again, you have a lot of space. This one already has a bed frame and a mattress. You have some windows. 
Again, lots of outlets everywhere. And then your ensuite, toilet and bath. So your enclosed shower space, your sink with more storage in the bottom. And then your water closet. Ooh, your door swings. Like it has a full swing. <laughs> and also I just wanna notice how they only use two kinds or two colors of tiles for the walls. So you have one in gray, you have one in brown, and that also translates to your shower area. So that's your nice little accent right there. Okay, so as you might have noticed, there are two bedrooms here on the ground floor. Typically in you know other houses that you might see, there's usually one bedroom on the ground floor and that's the elderly room, right? And then the rest of the bedrooms are on the second floor. Well, this particular house was designed in a way that there should really be two bedrooms, one for the parents and one for the grandparents. So basically, in family and here, But the grandparents decided that they wanted to live in their current house. So, here. <laughs> they love it. They, I mean, design-wise, it's fine. But then because of the, you know, the pandemic, so they decided that they just wanted to live in their own house. <laughs> and I guess the house is now, you know, it's, it's too big. But that was their purpose. But then it's up to you, it's up to you what you want to do with two bedrooms on the ground floor. But there are parents rooms. One for the mom, one for the dad. <laughs> if that's your jam. <laughs> or just turn it into an office, a playroom, what, what have you. But there is a dedicated office, which we'll get to in a bit. And speaking of getting to, this is the artwork included in the house. So this is this has a signed certificate and everything. This is a full-blown artwork that is part now of the house and it is gorgeous. It's got, I don't know if you can tell, but it's got layers in it and just so beautiful. Artwork itself, like per layer, is just stunning. Framed beautifully with this black inlay. All right. All right, so next to your painting, <laughs> your centerpiece, we have here sliding doors that lead to your theater. So you have, you have a podium over here to your right, and then lots of space for your rows of seating. And then, of course, obviously, this is where your TV will go. I'm just kidding. This is where your TV will go, and then everything else, our decor and audio system. So, madali naman ng kabitan ng mga surround sound yung kwarto. I also love that it's right next to the kitchen. So after movie time or before movie time, you can just transfer from one place to the other. And then conveniently, right next to your theater and in front of your shelving, we have the guest toilet and bath. <laughs> so you have your sink, your water closet, and your enclosed shower space. Obviously, anyone on this floor can use it including, again, your guests. And then next to that, and under the stairs, we have the office. So your office is at the front and corner. Ooh! Sayang, di nakita. The koi just did a... Like, it did the... thing. <laughs> anyway, that was super cool. Anyways, so this office is at the front and corner of your property, so you have a view of your koi pond. Obviously, ito ako na ito yung koi na. It did that. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. And then, you have windows here that peer over to the side. Now, I don't... Can you see There is a side gate doon. So remember, we saw a side gate uh, next to bedroom number one. There's also one here after this bedroom. It's kind of close to powder room, I said toilet and bath. So we have a lot of side gates. And then here we have an ensuite, toilet and bath. So sh enclosed shower space, your sink, and your water closet. And again, the door pretty much swings open. So this, again, as I mentioned, is an office, especially since you've got glass panels for your doors. And it's right next to your main entrance and your main stair. So if you had business transactions with whomever madalina lang going to and from the main entrance and to your office. It's so very convenient. They don't have to go through the entire house to get to your office. Okay, 
that is pretty much it for the ground floor. We weren't able to go to the side, but hopefully you were able to see it from the windows. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, also, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like and click subscribe. If you, if you are enjoying these videos and if you're enjoying this particular video, because we love making these for you and we would really appreciate it if you send us some love or comment down in the comment section. Oh, and also if you need help selling your property, no worries. Simply go to our website and look for the tab sell my property. Ah, the stairs. They're nice and wide. John can probably come up here. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> there you go. He can climb up here without a hitch, carrying the camera because the steps are so nice and solid and wide. Kumbaga. Sure-footed, is that a thing? Is that a term? I think it's a term, but it's not. It's probably not the use that I'm going for. But yeah, sure ka sa apak mo. Hindi ka, ano, na hindi magkukulang yung steps for your feet. Which sometimes happens in other scenarios. This one? No, you're good. Okay, so when you reach your landing, <laughs> when you reach your landing, you will see this Adorable hallway, very nice and uh, well lit thanks to all of your Claire Story windows or your fixed windows. So obviously you have very, very high ceiling and you have a view of your neighborhood, your nice neighborhood. Mind you, uh, this subdivision is nice and secure, it's quiet, you have lots of greens and your neighbors literally look nice as well. So what a neighborhood. All right, so anyways, getting sidetracked. Here on the second floor hallway, we have three doors. So let's go through this one first. And this is bedroom number three. We have this much space. Again, you have a lot of outlets. You have some cold lighting over... Oh, no. You have a... You have a cove. No, that's the aircon. <laughs> yeah. Is that my phone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anyways, you have some cold, those are for decor. So this one is for your curtain. That is for whatever purpose you want it for. And then here we have a walkthrough closet. So it already, of course, comes with your shelving, your drawers. And then your ensuite, toilet and bath with your enclosed shower space, you want a closet, and your sink. We also have an awning window over there that provides light for your, or for natural lighting. Yeah, it's still pretty bright even without the electrical lights. To show you this bedroom, so bedroom number four, we have here sliding doors that open up to your balcony. So obviously this is at the front of your property. You have a view of your front yard as well as your neighborhood, which again, is basically just greenery. Then you have here some accents. So this balcony has a different wall. So you can see it from the outside. These are wooden slats and they continue to your eaves. Actually, they're different materials, but they are somewhat similar visually, even if they're very different from each other. And then, of course, you have the tiles, the great tiles. Again, lots of outlets, and then a doorway that leads to your walkthrough closet. You have more storage space in here, actually. You have some in here, and then in here. Then you have your ensuite, toilet and bath with your enclosed shower space, your water closet, your sink with some storage, and a bathtub. So this is a little unique compared to the past bedrooms that we've been, been to. Bit of a trivia for you, you know, this isn't the real thing, but this is what you call a ghost chair. I mean, I think you can deduce why it's called a ghost chair. <laughs> inspired by a very popular furniture design back in the, was it the 50s or the 60s? Mid-century, basically. 
And then bedroom number five, the master bedroom. You have so much space and so much light <laughs> thanks to these huge window panels. So these and those you can open and then this is fixed. It's just for light. And oh my goodness, talagang nagdadala siya ng ilaw sa loob ng kwarto. And then you have a sort of view of your swimming pool and your backyard, as well as your really nice roof tiles. I'm not even kidding. These roof tiles are gorgeous. Then on this side, you have the door that goes to your walk-in closet. Now your walk-in closet is bare. It doesn't have built-ins, so it's up to you what you want to do with it, how you want to configure it. What's important is that you have two clerestory windows, fixed windows on either side. And then here, interestingly, you have your ensuite, toilet and bath, and it has a different door. So it's not your typical 0.70 or 0.8, 0.70 door. You have an extra over here. And then it opens up to your water closet, your sink, and your enclosed shower space. So again, your door opens up all the way, but you can also open this part if you wanted to. So for whatever purpose you, that may serve, it's up to you. Comment down below if you feel like you would stay here as the master bedroom with all, with all of this space, or the other bedroom which had a toilet and bath. Or even if you like, uh, toilet and bath. Malamang may toilet and bath. Bathtub. <laughs> you may bathtub. Or if you like bathtubs at all. But because some of you, I know, wish you had a bathtub in your house. And then some of you, not really. So let us know. Let's have a short conversation about it. Okay. So before we do the recap, there's just one more thing that I wanted to show you. Because I've been fangirling about this one the entire time here. It's... The handrail, which is a nice wood finish with rounded edges, so it's really nice to hold. You've got the steel, the cement, and then the solid wood. And I was just like, oh, this is so nice. I love it. Let's go outside. <laughs> Yung dakas yung exterior eh. Ano yung maganda rin yung loob? <laughs> Obviously, ganda-ganda ako sa exterior and interior of this house. But anyways, recap. We have 860 square meters of lot area. Yeah, it's a pretty big lot. And then seven, more around 700 square meters of floor area. We will put in the description the exact size of the floor area, but right now we know that it's around 700 square meters. Five bedrooms, an office, a theater, your staff area, of course with your staff quarters, toilet and bath and everything. And then lots of garden space, a koi pond, and then a swimming pool in the courtyard. You know what I like about this house? It's, yeah, it's massive, right? You have 800 square meters of lot area, 700 for floor area. It's massive. You've got lots of rooms but it doesn't feel excessive. That's honestly the appeal of it for me. So comment down below what the appeal was for you. Speaking of appeal, I mentioned earlier, this, has, this also has curbside appeal. All right, that being said though, all of this is in Loyola Grand Villas in Quezon City. So if you or anyone you know would find this house enjoyable to watch or see, send this video to them. But if you wanna see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.precello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Precello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.